Alright, so moving on to the first skill. Again, I don't have a name for these. I don't like giving skills a name because you guys seem to always think that I get them wrong. Um, which is which is probably right. I probably do get most of them wrong. But either way, um, this one's just going to be the roll behind. That's that's what I'm going to call it because you roll the ball and then you put it behind you. Very creative, Mikey. Nice one. But either way, it's quite similar to the skill I did on the last video. But apart from this time, it's a whole different body movement and it's a whole different position of the defender. Now, if you notice on the last one, um, the guy came from the side and I kind of like caught him out my eye. But this one is quite blind. You don't actually see what the defender's doing. You just have to feel for him. Now, you'll know that Brad's right on my back and you'll see my hands quite close to him. So I know where he is. This allows me to get kind of a visual of what I feel like Brad's body's like or the defenders on you's like. Um, just because of the way he's positioned and stuff like that. So this is when you do perform the skill. Now, the first step of it is quite simple. You drag it across your body with your strong foot or the angled foot that you, you're sort of facing with. And you drag it across your body and then you just drag it back. This is what differentiates the first skill to the second one, like this one. Uh, because when you do that turn, the 180, you kind of push your body away from where the defender is, which gives you more of a leap on him so you can take the ball further away and the defender has a lot more to do to catch you. Now obviously this be effective because if you try to beat him he's going to be a few more yards behind you and give you more time to think to pass the ball to have a shot to do whatever. But I just want to make it clear that I wouldn't kind of use this in your own half try to use it in the opponent's half because it can be quite a blind trick like I say you're not looking at exactly where his body's positioned. For all you know his legs are really tight and closed so yeah it can be quite a hard one to pull off but I mean, if you can do it, then perfect. It can look unbelievable um, and it can kind of fill them quite well. It's kind of a skill that you use once a game um, or you see it once every two games. It's not something that you quite, you see quite often because it is quite a hard skill to pull off. Like I say, I'm not sure exactly what I call this skill, but I write them down and I kind of just give them like uncreative names. So if you guys got any better names and stuff, just leave them in the comment section. I'll have a read and yeah. All right, so moving on to the fourth skill. Now, this one's called the 